male suspect got out of the vehicle, fired multiple rounds at the deputies. One deputy returned fire. The suspect fled on foot and deputies lost sight of the... The suspect he's talking about is accused of shooting at sheriff's deputies, causing an elementary school lockdown and a six-hour-long SWAT standoff in the South Valley. And tonight we know how deputies were able to catch the guy. Kai Porter's live on Barcelona Road near Isleta Boulevard with more. Kai. Tom, that six hour long standoff ended around three this afternoon when the SWAT team busted into one of the apartments behind me and arrested the guy. They say an anonymous tip through social media led them here. Investigators believe the man was shot in the shoulder during a shootout with a Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputy early this morning. We were there this afternoon as students at Barcelona Elementary School were loaded into buses and evacuated. A tense SWAT standoff unfolded just down the street from the school. Deputies searching for a man who opened fire on them. It makes me angry because they put my child's safety in danger. How are, aren't they thinking of the kids about this? Instead of them attending school, they should have canceled school and been honest with the parents about what happened. Many Barcelona Elementary School parents not happy the school was first put on a two hour delay. Delay, only to be canceled later in the day. They had to pick up their kids at nearby Adobe Acres Elementary School. I think they should have just canceled school altogether instead of doing the two hour delay. So, what happened? The district says it was given the all clear by sheriff's deputies just after 9 o'clock before the SWAT standoff began. Once it did, deputies ordered the school to evacuate since it was so close. I think it was scary. The manhunt started before the sun came up. Bernalillo County. Sheriff's deputies tried to stop this stolen car at about 3:30 this morning. The driver sped off, crashed near Del Rio and Rio Bravo, got out, and then started shooting at deputies. It's a dangerous situation to have an individual that's already shot at officers uh, to be looking for him in the dark, not knowing where he has kind of the upper hand on us. And tonight, deputies have not yet, yet released the man's name. He is in the hospital and is expected to be okay. As for the deputy who they believe shot the man, he is on standard paid administrative leave tonight, and he has been with the department for about three or four years. Reporting live in the South Valley, Kai Porter, KOB.